My name's John D. O'Callan. I'm 14 years of age and I'm from Ballymartle, Riverstick, County Cork. My name is Liam McCarthy. I'm 13 years old and I'm from Glenny, Riverstick, County Cork. The work we put into this project was enormous. The amount of testing, they're getting samples from each cow, getting a range of samples, testing them, varying in the amount of surfactant, the amount of milk, the agitation, and then getting it, finally getting away to me- measure that reaction. And uh, basically when we got the right apparatus, we came up with the test and the proper procedure and that's where we are at the moment. Myself and John went to primary school and secondary school together so we're great friends. We've known each other since junior infants so it's brilliant. We took our own time to go testing and it's, we've done over a thousand tests you know, just to get this one test right but it's, it's been brilliant. What I say is congratulations and these are two junior students who come forward, farmer's sons, I understand, um, come forward with a very interesting project in relation to bacteria in, in milk production. And I think it's a wonderful indication of their interest in where they come from, what their parents do as for a livelihood, uh, and using science and their teachers in school as a means of coming forward here and having a great success. And I think Cork never surprised me, of course, they all claim the talents down there. The test that we came up with, it was going to help our father so much and maybe the farmers in our community that that was kind of a win in itself. Like We weren't expecting anything like this at all. Also, when we were coming in, we were hoping we might get a highly commended, you know, we were hoping for a highly commended, but this this is just phenomenal. We didn't expect it at all. I'm Anne McCarthy, I'm Liam's mom, and um, we're absolutely overwhelmed that they have won, but they put tremendous effort into this project. We've been living with milk samples for months and months. My name is Ashley O'Callaghan, I'm John Dee's mum. And like Anne said, milk, washing, drying, milk, more milk and more testing for the last couple of months. Yeah, it's fantastic, absolutely brilliant. I'm so thrilled for them. It's pretty amazing stuff, really. These kids have found a way that for pennies you can discover whether a cow, a milk cow, is infected or not. It makes a difference to the farmers because if the milk is, is coming from cows that have minor infections, then they get less money than if they don't have infections. And so it's real benefit for farmers to know whether the cow is well or not. And just, this is literally pennies now. It's washing up liquid. They add a small amount of washing up liquid to the milk, shake it up, and then run it through a, a little uh, drain, as it were. And the faster it goes through, the cleaner the milk. And the slower it goes through, the more likely there's infection. So it's, it's an amazing, it seems amazingly simple, but they had to figure this out and they had to test it and find a way to make it work. The project is phenomenal. Um, but I guess on, on a number of levels, Firstly, it was, it was inspired by what their fathers do. As, as, as sons of farmers, their idea was all about uh, trying to help their fathers improve their productivity. It was a huge amount of research, and it's commercially incredibly viable. I understand that, in fact, the, the boys are attempting to protect the intellectual property of how they've done it. They don't control the, um, obviously, they don't control the, the washing up liquid. That's all that's, you need for this test. Uh, but they do want to try to control the, the intellectual property. Talking to Chris Clark, I mean, Dave, uh, since they took over ESAT, who had been the previous sponsors, having taken over that organization, that, that, that business, they have been very strong supporters with the Department of Education and other sponsors as well. Uh, and they see a great association uh, for their company with such a wonderful um, organization, such a wonderful uh, exhibition as this. For all it represents, uh, it's nationwide, all-island appeal. But there are applicants here from north and south, and I very much welcome that. And they've made a real effort uh, up north where they've increased uh, the number who have entered uh, by over 40%, I understand, over last year. So, you know, there's a lot of positive things happening. Uh, And BT are very happy in their association with the exhibition. And I'm very certain that they will, of course, be uh, chief sponsors again next year, as they have been for over nine years now. We're both very into hurling and we called our uh, test after our hurling club, the Ballymartle Milk Test. We lost the county final this year on hurling and I think this blasts that out of our memory really, yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. winning just takes away that.